So uh, looking at a bubble sort, and I'm just going to kind of give you an idea, once again, trying to lock into your minds what the difference is between these sorts. Uh, if you ever get it straight, it's not a big deal. Bubble sort, probably the most used in code. Uh, it's quick, it's easy. And again, if you have less than 10,000 records, uh, it really doesn't matter whether you're using this sort or another. But the idea on the bubble sort is that we're going to start on one end and as we work our way through, we're going to keep up with the largest number we've seen so far and make sure it winds up there. Then once we get through with that, we come back through looking for the next largest number that's there. And when we get up here, we make sure it winds up there. So it works something like this. Uh, 12 is bigger than 7. So 7 and 12 are going to swap places. Okay. Now then, 15 is bigger than 12, so we leave that alone. 15 is bigger than three, so we swap those two. Now notice this doesn't have anything in order yet, and I'm having to compare every number against every other number. Then we have 15 against 10. Okay, I need to swap those. So I'll pull out the 15 swap, and then move this little guy over. Uh, 15 is greater than two, yes it is. So we do the same thing again, move this over. And of course, to do this in real life, we're probably manipulating arrays on this. Uh, 15 bigger than 23, no, so leave those two alone, pick up 23. 23 bigger than nine, yep, okay, so pull that down, move nine over, maybe, and put 23 in between. And we go one more time, yeah, it's bigger than eight, so pull that out of the way, put eight in its place, and we're just swapping them, that's what we're doing. Uh, and the bubble sort makes use of a little swap function that takes care of trading out uh, two values in an array. And yeah, this is going to take four's place as well. So in a bubble sort, that's uh, all it guarantees you is every time you go through, the next biggest number winds up over to the right. Okay, so that was our first time through. The second time through, we need to do from the beginning, not all the way to the end, but to the end minus one. So if we go through on it, say it's not bigger than 12, 12 is bigger than three, whoops. Okay, 12 is bigger than three. So we move these two around. Uh, the moving, when you're looking at the bubble sort, these will be your indexes that you're saying, compare this sub whatever to this sub whatever plus one. And uh, if you're gonna swap, you're gonna swap this sub whatever and this sub whatever plus one, you hand those two down. So essentially that's what's happening when you're looking at it in code. But visually, this is what's going on with this thing, okay? And the one reason this is not considered the best sort in the world Look how much, how many comparisons, how much moving is going on with this thing. Uh, it's it's a very inefficient sort, but it's easy to understand. And uh, uh, the coding, once you get used to the code, and you've seen it once or twice, coding's not too bad. The first time you see it, it'll kind of throw you off a little bit. But the concept behind this thing is not too bad at all. So after we've gone through uh, two rounds, just a second. Oh, no, not that one. Uh, Control-Z. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, there we go. Uh, after you have gone through two rounds with this, we now have the two largest values on the end in order. And then we're going to come back through and do the same thing, and we'll wind up with 12. Let's, well, let's do one more just so we can see. There's no guarantee anything down through here is in order at all. The only thing you're guaranteed is how many ever rounds you have. That's the right most digits that you actually have in order. So seven will swap with three. Okay, seven will not swap with 10. Let me keep that stuff aligned. 10 will swap with two, but 10 won't swap with 12. 12 will swap with nine. And then 12 will swap with eight. Twelve will swap with four. 
Now notice one of the characteristics of this is every time you come back through the list of numbers to, to run this little pattern, you are looking at one less number every time. So the first time through, we've made nine comparisons to compare all 10 numbers. Then we made eight comparisons. This one was seven comparisons. And how many times have these been compared against each other? It's a lot. Okay, so very inefficient on this thing, but it works. And you know, if you have less than uh, 10,000 records and you've got a uh, recent CPU, well, so it does a billion things a second. Mm, big deal. This, you know, this took one thousandths of a second to do. So uh, you haven't lost all that much on this. Anyway, that is a bubble sort. So next time through, uh, this would stay. Seven would swap with two. Then ten would swap all the way down. And then you keep on going and you keep on going. And you do not know that you're sorted for sure until you get to the very end. Now just out of happenstance uh, this is not part of bubble sort i'm just rearranging this and saying what happens if our data happened to be like this which happens uh, a lot more than you would uh, expect it happens Okay, so we've done three numbers and it just so happens because the way the data was laid out after we've done three, we're here. We're actually through, but we don't know we're through for sure until we continue this all the way down. Well, there is an improved bubble sort that watches for this. Every time you start through the list, you set up a counter of how many swaps have you made, okay? So if we went through, if this was how our data had fallen and we go through this one, okay, let's count how many swaps occur. Okay, if I compare this against that, no swap, 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 and this against that, no swap. So if I've made it all the way through run one round and there were no swaps, it's in order. And so you can improve the bubble sort a little bit uh, by going through and checking for that. And it's, but, you know, it depends. Sometimes, you know, it's a uh, worst case scenario and, and that doesn't help you at all. Other times you may only have to move two or three numbers and then they are, everything else is in order. Okay, bubble sort. 